Hello, welcome back to Oracle DBA tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about internal locks or latches. So, as you see, uh, this is what we are doing. We are discussing about types of locks in last couple of videos. And uh, we have already discussed in detail about DML locks and DTL locks. And in this video, we are going to discuss about internal locks or latches. So, before we want to discuss about internal locks and latches, let's try to understand a couple of recall of whatever we learned from our, uh, you know, database uh, architecture, you know, Oracle Server architecture uh, videos. Okay, so this is our Oracle database which consists of an instance and some data files. And there are a couple of background processes and there is a memory structure and if you recall recollect that memory structure is called SGA or shared global area and this SGA also consists of multiple things like uh, one one of one of them may be buffer cache let's say this is the buffer cache and then we have another thing called shared pool and so on let's say we have uh, you know one uh, user and that user is going to uh, do some kind of uh, insert update delete kind of statement let's say this guy is doing right now a update update table t and then set say a is equal to one so as you know like uh, for this uh, sql so there will be a dedicated server process which is basically catering to this uh, session to this client and and when this update things comes comes in what is going to do it's going to the dedicated server is going to go and then change the buffer cache okay so change the buffer cache so while this so basically this buffer cache is nothing but an internal data structure right so if this data structure is going to change that one so imagine at the same time exactly at the same time same minute same second same millisecond so another guy who is going to also do update set a is equal to one same table same thing that means sets a is equal to two okay so the first first transaction is updating right now so while this thing is being updated and second one is trying to go on and access this data structure so that means what we have say for example you have a you have a linked list or you have a any data structure okay so one process is basically modifying that data structure and at the same time another person wants to go and then try to access that resource then conflict will occur so so notice that these are the things that we are doing is not you know in the internal in in the in the memory okay but whereas whenever we discuss about ddl lock dml lock we are always discussing about something on the data blocks here okay so therefore they are different locks and then to protect to prevent this kind of kind of conflict to occur to prevent internal data structure being modified twice at same time oracle is going to lock this internal um, data structure using a very lightweight lock the lightweight lock and that lock is called latch okay so if you see the dictionary latch and lock they are same but latch you can say that's a small lock okay something that i can just easily like you know it's, it's very short time okay so once once this modification is done by the user number one then this latch is going to be removed automatically then what's going to happen is that other users like you know other session who is requesting for the uh, for the access to this uh, you know to this to this area in the internal memory structure they just need to wait okay they need to wait or what they will do basically they will just sleep okay they'll sleep for a very fraction of you know time and then they'll come and see if the latch is already there or not okay so there is no mechanism like a queue okay there's no mechanism like a queue like you know let's say like you know i have another session also trying to access the same this thing right so basically the first one is now you know you know getting the latch and then user number two number two and number three are sleeping and then checking if if user number one is done so whoever goes first like so even you know user number three comes comes last but whenever it's going to go and check if the latch is already done you know if, if there is no latch then it can grab that latch 
okay so there is no rule of thumb that okay you are you know you are in the queue so that you will get first so this is like a mob rule okay so it's a mob rule so there are there is a mobs mob mob of request session is basically waiting to access this thing so and everybody is slipping and checking slipping and checking and then whenever you know somebody is getting that one he just gets you know you know that session is getting the latch and then moves on okay and then this is very lightweight so lightweight means you know this some some sort of serialization is being done in uh, you know in in the code so that it will uh, you know uh, these things compared to the actual locks that we get in ddl and dml then this is also called nq okay or you know a lot of times you know in, in a report it's, uh, it's, it's it it should show you nq in queue logs okay and then whenever we have a you know very highly old to be system where a lot of transactions are going on okay then you should see a lot of in queue log and then especially if you are trying to update the same row uh, multiple times then you should see a lot of latches latch contention coming up and then we'll, we'll we'll show you in in very much in detail whenever we are going to explain you in some examples so so with this i think we complete we have we have completed the locking uh, types of lock so in three videos we discussed dml locks ddl locks and internal locks and then most likely right so you take a scenario where you probably a lot of times you will have a lot of dml locks okay and remember locks are the most contentious issues they degrade the performance and then you never never try to allocate a lock yourself let oracle do it for you and then it depends on on the application how you design your application in that way lock contention may may may, may get worse but there is nothing to tune from locking point of view it's all self tuned all done by oracle